All right, well, welcome to Rock Online. Um, as you've heard with Red Words, we're gonna study through the Gospels together. And every Friday, we are gonna have kind of a time of application. So Pastor Rick spoke with us on Sunday about prayer and fasting. And so in chapter six of Matthew, which hopefully either you've read by now or you're gonna be reading today or tomorrow, is what I call the Our Father. <laughs> but I found out before we started this, uh, several of, sta of the staff were like, well, our, our Father, do you mean the Lord's Prayer? <laughs> and I went, yes, is that the, the technical term? And it clearly was evident that I was raised Catholic. Right. So, because they said, oh, that's a Catholic thing. <laughs> but it's the Lord's Prayer. And that's how you have right. referred to it, right, Michaela? Always the Lord's Prayer. But I do know, I yeah. knew the Our Father because um, I was also had a Catholic grandmother. And yes. so I had like the Catholic prayer book and that was Our Father. Yes. And so it is interesting, kind of those little different right yeah the different, yes so um speaking about the lord's prayer today we just want to share a little bit about maybe how we've applied it to our life and kind of how we use it because it is direction from jesus on he actually says this then is how you should pray and gives this as an example of prayer so how have you used it in your life michaela well i feel like i first memorized it as a child yeah. that was the first thing and and honestly, when I think back to it, when I was learning to pray and I was learning to kind of grow up in God, yeah. because it was it was taught to me in a way where it, it was the first tangible kind of conversation I could have with God. Oh, that's it, cool. It was in those moments of, uh, I feel distraught or I want to get closer to God. I want to build a relationship mm -hmm. as a young kid that I can honestly remember back to the Lord's Prayer and say, what do I do? I want to talk to God. I want to mm -hmm. spend time with Him. Yeah. And I would say before bed or in the morning and it was just a such a sweet time to be able to talk to God and be able to speak to, and, and say go through the prayer and yeah. be able to kind of have that first glimpse of having a friendship with God mm. and in being able to not only take but take the word of God and apply it to my life and, yeah and that's kind of what my first memories are of the Lord's Prayer I love that and I think even as you said um, that it is the word of God I think as raised Catholic I don't know that I even knew that you right. know, I memorized a prayer called the Our Father. Right. You know, and I don't think I put two and two together until later on that, oh, this is actually from the Bible, mm -hmm. you know. But now as an adult, like, I could rattle it off, you know, as a right. teenager. Oh, Father, God in heaven, hallowed be thy name. You know, I just could, oh, yeah. could rattle it off, but there was no meaning behind it. Right. And I think it, this morning I was even just picturing Jesus sharing this with his disciples, sharing this with people, this is how you pray. I don't think he rattled it off, oh. you know, right? I think he really thought about everything he was saying and, and taking each piece. And it's kind of, I equate it to knowing a song. Like yeah. when we sing a worship song together, when it's a new song, mm -hmm. we can we can worship, we can sing, but it's difficult. It's more difficult. Right. But as soon as I know a song and it's in my heart, right. like that's when I can engage in worship. And that's why, you know, I was thinking even as the children's pastor here, like it's so important for the kids to memorize it, yeah. so that they can actually say it from their heart and actually begin to understand what they're saying. Right. Like contemplate. Okay, our Father. Wow, you're my dad. Right. You know, and you're in heaven, you know, like really breaking down each piece mm -hmm. of it, you know, so like we're telling you guys, parents, <laughs> encourage your kids, memorize it. And if you don't have it memorized. Right. That's what I was yeah. thinking. I, yeah. I was um, thinking back to Deuteronomy. Yes. Right. And I think it's chapter six, verse four through six. And that's the first part where, um, where God is saying, you know, love the Lord your God with all of your heart, with mm -hmm. all your mind, with all of your strength. And then he goes on and he's saying to keep the word of God in your yes. heart. And then after that, he says, teach it to your children. Yes. Right. And oh, so, that's a good point. <laughs> yeah. Right. So if you and don't know it. <laughs> if you have it and you don't even understand why you memorize mm -hmm. it or how, you, not even just memorizing it, but applying it to your life. Yes. Yeah. How are you going to be able to teach your children to not just memorize, but memorize it so that it's equipping mm -hmm. them, not just a thing that, a skill that they can do. Right. Right. But something yes. that they can hold and treasure. And that's what the Bible says, to treasure the word of God. Yes. In your heart. Well, and there are times where we all know that we want to pray and we need God and we just don't know what to say. Like you right. were talking about, you know, you wanted that relationship. This is a great starting point. You know, yeah. Have this memorized and be able to spend time with God just talking to him. Right. Yeah. And I, even thinking about this, like, 
right before they go into the Lord's Prayer, yeah, Jesus is talking to them about how not to pray, right? Right. <laughs> yes. You know, and he's like, "Don't be like the hypocrites. Yes. Don't be trying to babble on and on." Yeah. And I feel like that's just so relatable because, yes. like, sometimes when you're mm-hmm. just in that moment trying to, you're struggling how to pray, and you mm-hmm. can kind of see like the heart of what God wants in prayer yes. through the Lord's Prayer, yes. and in this time when Jesus was speaking to his disciples, this wasn't written down for them, yeah. right? So it's from the beginning, it was meant to be memorized, to yes. teach them how to pray, to get it into their hearts so that they could know the word of God, the teachings of yeah. God, so that then they could commune with the Father, yes. which Jesus is that bridge builder, right? Yes. So it's such a perfect mirror of Jesus teaching us how to pray yes. to the Father as through him. I love that. The other thing, and to pair with what you just said, what I got too, is if you look right before the prayer portion is he's talking about giving to the needy, right? Right. And then he start and then right when he goes into the prayer part, he says, "Oh yeah, I, I feel like he almost said, oh, and by the way, you know, <laughs> I'm telling you to look at others, and, right. you know, give to the needy, be yeah. be extravagant in how you love others. Right. And, oh, and by the way, your show off prayer, stop that. Yeah. You know? <laughs> you know? And then he almost ends, so he prays the Our Father, and you know, he talks about you know he's in heaven, he's our Father, you know, he's. Uh, he provides for us daily, forgive right. us as we forgive others, deliver us from evil, you know, don't yeah. lead us into temptation. But then I love the verse right after that, the verses right after it, it's all about forgiveness. Like right. the only high thing he highlights of the prayer yeah. is that we're to forgive others so that, because wow. if we don't, we won't be forgiven. Right. That's like, so good. <laughs> which to me, you know, I think sometimes is almost the part we want to gloss over and, and say the fastest. Yeah. Forgive, forgive me, Father. Just as I forgive others, you yeah. know, because <laughs> right. you don't, you don't want him to remember that part, but it's yeah. such an important piece. And I would encourage you guys as you memorize it. And I, we, we try to say the, our father several times a week and, and just even pausing at that portion and saying, right. gosh, am I Lord, if there's unforgiveness in me, mm-hmm. help me. Yeah. Like I, I don't want to cling to that because I want your forgiveness. Right. You know, so t- again, taking it piece by piece. It, it sounds like kind of what you're saying is instead of, because when we think of memorizing, we think yes. back to that, um, what you said, that our father who out in hell, yeah. hello be the name, <laughs> yes. you know, where you yes. just kind of go through it and yeah. that's memorizing because it's yeah. done. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of what's ingrained in our minds mm-hmm. when we think about memorization in general, like yes. memorizing something for a test growing yes. up, memorizing this, yes. memorizing that. And, and that's what we think about when it comes to memorizing scripture. But it yeah. sounds like when you look at scripture and you yeah. talk about memorizing scripture, it's not just to be able to say it like that, it's yeah. that you understand the meaning behind yeah. it and it's it's a slow process of going through it so that you understand God's will and you really just get your heart to receive yeah. the Holy Spirit and where and be present with God in that moment yeah. through his word. Yeah. Yeah, and like what you said, it pairs with the heart. Right. It's all about the heart. God is examining our heart. Where is our heart in this? Yeah. So I would just say that, you know, Michaela and I are encouraging you to Memorize it. Get it in your heart so that you can have that prayer life, right, with right. God and just that intimacy with Him. This is a great prayer to start with. And maybe just for a practical mm-hmm. to end, if yeah. you've maybe if you've memorized lo- the Lord's Prayer before, yeah. uh, go through. And if you have gone through Chapter Six already, yeah, go through it again yeah. and go through it really slow. And even. Just write out the Lord's Prayer. Write yes. the meanings of kind of the different things. Like, what does it I actually mean when I say, Our Father in Heaven? What does it mean when I say, Holy is Your Name? Yeah. Right? And you kind of slowly go through it. And if you've never memorized it before, you know, this is such a wonderful time to do the same mm-hmm. thing, but to really approach it, not to just be able to say it off the top of your mind, which is good. You want to be able to do you that. You want that too. Yeah. But to really understand it and and. Uh, one tip that I heard just a little yeah. practical for memorizing is, and I heard it in one of my community groups and it, I thought it was so great, yeah. was that they said before they try to memorize a verse, they'll just go through the chapter and they'll either listen to it audibly, either mm, someone reading yeah. it or they'll record themselves reading it and they'll just yeah. close their eyes and they'll just try to visualize it. Oh, that's because really that's cool. Because that's really just a way, think about we can quote movies and songs because it, it has meaning to us and we can picture it in our minds and that's what makes us memorize it the yes. quotes to be able to quote it, but also understand the meaning behind it. Yes. So that's just my helpful. Uh, no, I love that. And as you said that too, I was thinking too, um, they say that to affect change, you have to have an emotion tied to it. Yeah. So have that, ask God for that desire, that emotion, like it to pair with the, with the prayer. It'd be great. I love it. All right. Well, 
We'll see you guys Sunday. Have a great evening.